What's going on? Chilly February evening, and I'm feeling too lazy to get any work done on my project behind me. So, I figured I'd take this time to shoot a little update video on a very exciting subject. Okay, I suppose thermostatically controlled outlets are not that exciting, but this is kind of a neat story and shows just how powerful YouTube videos can be. Now, the story starts with a previous video I did, and you probably didn't see it, so let me just recap. But I picked up one of these Digitin thermostats to control the power going to my waste oil heater. And with this thing plugged in line, even in the stop setting, it would still power my heater no matter what. It ended up being the fact that this thing only switched the neutral side, which if you know anything about regular switches, if you flick a switch off, that is turning the hot lead off. And that's how a switch should be. So after figuring out the problem, the fact that it was only switching the neutral side, I emailed Digitin and they said, hey, it must be defective. Let us send you a new one. They sent me a new one. Same problem with that one. I even took it apart to verify. Indeed, the hot leads are just spliced right together inside and the neutral side goes to the solenoid. At that point, I shot a little video showing you my problem and basically said in that video that these things are unsafe and junk. And that's when Digitin reached out to me again and they said, thank you very much for pointing this concern out to us, uh, this problem. We're actually pulling all of our inventory back from Amazon because they reached out to their manufacturing company in China. And indeed, these were being manufactured wrong, not up to spec. The hot side should be switched. They said... We're so sorry about that, and we're going to send you a new one direct from China. And here, there you go. So I got that just the other day, and I took these apart, and I can just show you that the problem has been rectified. Now, here's the original one, and with all these four screws out, you can see the ground's placed together, and then our hot leads are soldered together on the circuit board, and the neutral white wire is the one that's leading over to the solenoid for switching. Incorrect and dangerous. Here is the new version they sent me, and they said that they've sent a new batch to Amazon, so if you happen to order one of these, they're much safer in hell, thanks to them seeing that last video. Uh, you can see the neutrals on this one are soldered together on the board, and that the black hot wires are being switched. And there you go, there's a side-by-side. -side. You can see they've corrected the wiring on these. So that's pretty neat, I tell you what. Uh, the fact that they saw the video immediately, the same day I posted it, and reached out to me and they've corrected the issue, uh, tells me that Digitin is a pretty decent company and they stand by their products. Now, I don't know how long they were making them where the hots were spliced together, but again, it's, it's definitely pretty unsafe. It just so happens this unit can get powered with just a hot and a ground. Another funny part of this story is I originally left this thing plugged in and I said, oh, I'll just snip the ground so it just gets a hot and a neutral. And sure enough, this Digitend, the faulty one, would turn this off because it didn't have the ground anymore. And that was just a temporary fix. But then I came out here in my socks one evening and I leaned on this table and boy, did I get electrified. Uh, the 120 volts going through me. I guess they were going through the heating elements inside of here. It shocked me pretty good. So uh, yeah, don't cut your ground if you're having this problem. But that's just further proof that yes, you don't want to, if something's off, you do not want a hot going to it. Anyway, not the most exciting video in the world, but it just goes to show you how a little tiny video can be pretty powerful. So if you guys see something wrong in the future, make a video on it and tag the company in it. Uh, they might see it and hook you up. Uh, I'm happy with the outcome, and I'm just sitting here tonight in the garage drinking uh, some Nishamity Creek IPA. I don't know if you ever had this before, but it's a good IPA brewed in Croydon, Pennsylvania. And I'm giving my old 86 XL600R some much-needed TLC. I uh, got a new tire for the front, new fork boots. I'm going to be painting the frame and painting the engine, uh, also putting a new cam chain tensioner in there, and some other odds and ends on the motor, new clutch too, polished up the exhaust, got an XR's only header for that, welded up a hole here, and the welds looked, there's actually going to be a little video I did on that, might post, might not, I don't know, it's kind of embarrassed to even put my videos up on that, because the welds are terrible, uh, I got new uh, clutch springs in the clutch, and yeah, the Honda RFEC radial four valve chamber motor, 600 cc's of fury. Last random thought here. I've been told by a certain individual on several occasions that I need to throw this 
hat away or burn it and get rid of it. Uh, I got this in New York City like 12 years ago or something, and I just love it. It keeps me so toasty and warm, and I know it looks goofy, but if you haven't tried one of these on before, you really have to. I mean, it, it just keeps you nice and toasty. The old beanie scarf works good, too. You just cut a hole in a beanie, and that works great. You know, so I might look goofy, but comment below if you think I should also throw this hat in a burn barrel. Let me know your thoughts on that. And otherwise, that will wrap this ditty up. Uh, just wanted to make that update video and tell Digiten that I thank you very much for fixing the wiring issue and making a safe thermostatically controlled outlet. So until next time, Chris Brown here, No Nonsense Know How. And uh, you enjoy your night, day, whatever you're doing. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you have anything for me. Tell me something.